Hello everyone. In this video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to tint the windows on your vehicle in Photoshop. Uh, this particular version here I'm using is CS5. Now this also does apply to other versions of Photoshop um, and the operating system I'm using here is actually a Mac. Um, but the same principle does apply to a Windows operating system. First we want to start by doing is having your image like this. Uh, basically what you have here is just a background image. Uh, First, what we want to start by doing is we're going to be tinting the windows on the side of the vehicle and the rear of the vehicle. Uh, selecting your marquee tool here, so you want to just do a rough outline of the area here. And what we'll be doing is copy and pasting this and then uh, just deleting the surrounding areas around the glass itself uh, just so we can only tint the glass, uh, the glass areas. So making sure you have your layer selected. Go to Edit, Copy, Edit and then paste. Now when you paste it, it should create a new layer. Now if you are having issues with this, you can go down to uh, create a new layer here and uh, then just paste your selected area in this new layer and it should be okay. Next we'll start by doing is making the background invisible. Zooming into the image itself here. Selecting our lasso tool here, the polygonal uh, style lasso. Just go around the window trim here and delete the areas that we actually don't want uh, to be tinted in the image itself. I'm making sure you have your layer selected. Uh, simply hit delete and you should be left with something like that. Now you just want to continue on around the whole outside of your window. Um, now I've already skipped this step here. So once you're done, uh, I'll just turn this layer off. You should be left with something that looks like this here. Now, normally, sometimes what happens here is uh, any of the objects that are in the background, uh, depending on what color they are, they will mirror that color onto the windows themselves, so it can be a little harder to tint. Now, if you are applying uh, some other type of tint, it may, uh, may highlight the colors a little more or just create somewhat of an interference between it. So what I like to do here is using the sponge tool itself. I've already have this selected on the top here at 25%. And then I've also uh, selected the tool size itself and make sure you have it selected on desaturate instead of saturate. Just simply drag it across here, like so. You can see it's pulling the colors uh, out of the uh, windows themselves. So you should have something else like that. Now once you highlight your background here, so just to uh, show you the difference between it, there's the layer off, there's the layer back on. Now next we'll be moving on to is the actual layer options themselves. Now you can either select this by double clicking on the layer here like so, or you can actually right click and use blending options. Next we'll move down to here is color overlay. Now it usually uh, automatically selects red, so we'll reselect that color. Now we're doing black tint on this, but you can actually select whatever color tint you would like. And you can see it's quite dark here, so what we'll do is actually change the opacity here. Now you can just do it by dragging the bar, typing in a percentage here. Here I want 35%. You should have something else like that. So once you're done, you should have something else like that on your vehicle. Now just to show you the difference in between uh, with tint and uh, no tint, layer off layer on. Now if you have any comments or questions please don't hesitate to post them below. Also uh, please rate my video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos. Uh, thank you for watching.